Hello. I am so excited. This came out exactly what I was picturing. So I'm so excited to show this to you. How to make a red and white checked tablecloth on the bottom of a card. So I've, I've already cut this out and I used, I used my apple punch and I punched out some apples out of here. And so I saved the background and this is four by four. And then I cut out a layer for on top of that, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay. So, and I've created a, well, you've, you've seen the, the video for the basket. If not, I'll connect that. And after I punched out the apples and I just went around with a dauber and, and put a little bit of darker color green on them. Okay. So, but if you lay it down like this, it looks kind of, it looks cute, but it looks kind of boring, but I want a red and white gingham tablecloth. So how do you make that? So what you're going to do is take your square and we're going to use our cutting board. You can use scissors also if you want to. If you're going to do with scissors, then you want to measure up one inch, okay? Um, because this is this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So you want to measure up one inch so that way you can see um, how far in to go for your cut line. All right, so if I go in here, that's the cut line. So let me, let me do that on my scoreboard so you can see it. All right, so we're just going to go in one inch and which would be right here, let's see. Okay, so there's the one inch mark. So if you're doing it with this if it's scissors, then you just take your scissors and you just snip, 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 okay? You can do it that way, or you can do what I'm doing. And, oh, and let me show you, show you the, the cut line now. See how you can see that line? So we're gonna cut from the end up to the top, okay? And I'm gonna do this every quarter of an inch. So, so you can either mark it and then snip it or just go ahead and snip it, or you can do it this way. I'm being a little anal with it today, so that's why I'm going ahead and <laughs> using my, my cutter. So, and I'm gonna turn it sideways so I can see. So what I've done, and I've moved it over on the quarter of an inch mark right here, and I'm just gonna push my, push this up until this piece here lines up with this line. So there you go, there's a quarter of an inch. And it's okay if it goes up high a little bit, that's not gonna hurt anything. Then you move it over another quarter of an inch. And we're gonna cut this piece. And then we're gonna lift it up, move it over a quarter of an inch. And we're gonna cut in until we get that lined up. We're gonna lift it up, move it over a quarter of an inch, lay it down, cut this way, move it over a quarter of an inch, cut in. Okay, we're gonna move it over a quarter of an inch. We're gonna, whoops, move it down again. There, pull it out. We're gonna move it over a quarter of an inch and push it in. We're gonna move it over another quarter of an inch. Cut that, another quarter of an inch. And cut that, another quarter of an inch. Wait till you see how good this comes out. It is so cool. Okay, and then another quarter of an inch. Okay, and another quarter of an inch. And another quarter of an inch. Okay, and another quarter of an inch. One more cut and we are done. we go. All right. Oh, I did that one real high. Well, the good thing is I don't really have to use this one. All right. Actually, I could disguise that by doing this. If you go on the back side and just kind of itch it, then it closes up the lines. So I'll show you that neat little trick too. So look at it. So see, and you can see where I cut it up, but now it's filled in again. And when you turn it over, then you don't really notice it as much. So I could still use it. All right, so then we want a thin piece of red and we're gonna cut these. We need four pieces at, because this is an inch wide, so we need four pieces at a quarter of an inch. All right, so we're gonna go over to the quarter of an inch line. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do two. We're gonna do three and 
four. There we go. We just need four strips that are quarter of an inch. All right. So then we're just going to weave over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way across by magic of videos. Ta-da! I've got it done. <laughs> okay. Look at what that looks like. It looks so cool. It looks like a gingham tablecloth. I'm so excited how nice that came out. And I've already glued down all the ends. So now I just want to trim the excess off. Trim the excess off here. Perfect. All right. Now, put these in my little scraps. Actually, I'll leave them right here for now. All right. So now we can put this on here. So we want to go ahead and glue this down because this is our layer. And you notice the, the same green that I used for the apples. So if you're going to do yellow apples, then do yellow behind or pears or whatever, you know, whatever fruit you want to cut out. Apples are fairly easy to cut out anyways, whether you have a punch or not. So, but I just happen to have this, this punch. So there, but whatever, whatever you color you cut the, the fruit out with or flowers, if you're going to do flowers in the basket, then do this, you know, do it out of the piece, the four by four inch uh, square, because then it'll match and you'll leave this border around here. Now watch when this goes on here. We can put this piece on. We'll go ahead and glue that down. And as soon as we put the basket on, it just looks so cool. Alrighty, so let's put this down and line that up evenly around. So we're just weaving down on the bottom, just one inch on the bottom. And it makes such a big difference. Are you ready? <laughs> The basket of fruit. Ta-da! As soon as you put it down, it's like it looks like a tablecloth. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love how that came out. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and, and I think I want to go ahead and 3D this also. So let's get some of these this foam and we'll put this in behind. We'll put some behind the apples. There. Put some down on the bottom. Put that over there. There. Alrighty. And then we can take that. Plastic off the back here. There we go. Alrighty. We can put our basket of apples down. We can put it to the side if you want to put a word. You know what? Maybe... I don't know. I'm going to put it to the side anyways. Maybe to this side, since the apple is here. I'll do it like right there. There. That's pretty. What do you think of that? Isn't that neat? <laughs> a tablecloth. A gingham tablecloth. I love it. Then we can definitely add this extra piece down on the bottom. So that way, again, it's pulling it down. It matches. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to put Glue on there and a little bit in the middle and then on this end. There we go. And go ahead and put this on. Put that on. Turn it over, give it a little back rub. There we go, trim off the excess. nice that is so pretty all right we could add another one if we wanted to or another one right here oh we could even put one down oh that's cute down there <laughs> i like that all right so let's find a word that we can put in here let's see let's see what i pulled out all right you're cool <laughs> that kind of matches thought of something nice today you that's kind of cute but I don't really like that for this all right what's that lots of hugs Ooh, that matches hmm what else hello with smiles thought of something you are special you are special happy birthday beautiful 
Hello with smiles would work. I could actually put that up there. Ooh, you know what? I think I like that. And I think I'm gonna punch that out with a circle. All right, this one should work, I think. Yes, it does. Very good. Let's get this lined up. Right there. All right. Ooh, look at that. How pretty, pretty, pretty. All righty. I like that. Very nice. So now do we want it there or down here? think down there. I like it better down there. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and put it down here. I do like that. Alrighty. I'm wondering. Hmm. We still have some of this red left. I think I want to 3D this up also. So let's go ahead and do that. There. Take that release paper off. There we go. And we can pop that on there. Maybe right between. Yeah, right there. Oh, that is really cute. All right, and then I'm thinking we've got this little bit of red left. How about a butterfly or two? Let's, let me get my little tiny butterfly punch. This one might be as big as that. <laughs> as big as that. I've not used this on this type of paper, so let's see if this is going to work. That's so tiny. That would be so cute. Oh, it did. Yes. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do it again. Very good. Nice. All right. That's cute. If we did it like that, then that makes a triangle on there. Or if we do it over here, that still makes, cuts it in half into two triangles. I think I like that better, but I think we need one more up here. So let's go ahead and see if we can get another one out of here. Perfect. Nice. Okay. What do you think? That's pretty cute, huh? I like that. Nice. All right, let's put these on. <laughs> I like it when things come out the right way. Yes, I do. Okay, let's put three little dots of blue here. There. And then we can put that away. Put that away. Put this away and that away. And where's my picker upper right there? flying away, this one flying towards them, and this one flying down towards. <laughs> Let's go get those apples. That came out pretty. I like that. I still think it needs something else down here, a darker color. So what I'm going to do is, let's check my black skinny strips and see if I've got any, or if I need to cut some more. Let's see what colors I've got here. Grass in there. Oh, I do. All right. Yay, yay, yay. Ooh, there you go. See, and that grounds it for me. I like that. All right, now that's just a skinny piece of paper, but you know what? I'm going to use it. I don't think I, there's no sticker on the back of that, but that's all right. I have glue. I can glue it in place. All righty, let's glue this down. too shabby. So what do you think of that? A red check gingham, gingham um, tablecloth. That's really cute. I like the way that came out. Alrighty, and I need my scissors back again to trim this off. Voila. 
and we are good to go. Check that out. I like that. That came out pretty nifty. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.